minute. I have this big property and I can't seem to get it booked during the week. Do you have any creative ideas for me? Sure do. Are you like Sarah? Do you have a home that has maybe six bedrooms that you could create a four bedroom listing and a two bedroom listing? We like to call that a parent child listing. But I don't want to miss out on opportunities to book the whole thing You're out. You're not going to miss out on those opportunities. You're going to be able to list them at all these different occupancies at the same exact time. So I'm diversifying my property. Yes. Oh, that's uh -huh. fancy. It Show me is. how it's done. All right, let's do that. Well, let's get inside and go to our computer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This sounds confusing. We know what you're thinking, right? That's what's going through your head. How am I going to sync up the calendars? How am I going to communicate this to the guest via Airbnb? Sarah, let's, let's slow it down. Let's break it down. But let's first start with why yeah. you started doing this strategy. Okay. I started doing this strategy because I had a larger home. How many bedrooms? It was four beds. And how many bathrooms? Two and a half. Okay. And it has a really high average daily rate, correct? It's a beautiful, beautiful property. And to clean the whole thing too is expensive. And so I just couldn't figure out, we were getting it booked in the weekends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like people were coming in with their families, with their friends, larger groups weekends, that was easy breezy. But those Monday through Thursdays, trying to sell, you know, $300 a night and a $200 cleaning fee just was wasn't hard. working. It was hard. So. Because there, business, there was a lot of people coming in town, maybe for business or just with their partner. So a smaller amount of people, but that, that rate was still a little high, but they were very interested in the property. Right. Because it is beautiful. So I thought, sure, I'll rent it to you. If you just need the two bedrooms, I could rent you just the two bedrooms. And I thought, like, if I say, just don't go on this, you know, the, the third floor where the two bedrooms are. Not that I don't trust guests, but everyone gets a little like, Oh, what's in there? And they, they look in every drawer, behind every door, and if you think they aren't, you better clean up all your closets. And then let's say a kiddo goes in there and decides to just watch TV, then then the cleaner still has to clean that space, right? Mm -hmm. If, if a guest is in there, it needs cleaned again. So I thought, what if I put a lock on the, extra, the two extra bedroom doors, mm -hmm. and then I created a whole other listing that was a different product. It is just a two bed, a two, bedroom. two and a half bath. Mm -hmm. And I thought, this could work. And all I had to do back in the day on Airbnb was take the Airbnb calendar for the four bedroom listing, connect it to the two bedroom listing, which you can totally do, and now they're synced. Mm -hmm. So if the four bed gets booked, there's no way you'll get double booked because the two bedroom calendar automatically gets blocked out. Repeat that because I know a lot of people get very stressed that they're gonna be double booking both of the properties. Just think of them as two different products because they are, one's a four bedroom, One's a two bedroom. And you can sync the calendars to talk. So once it's booked, the other is not available. But Sarah, what if I want to ensure, I, I mean, my goal is to get the four bedroom right. booked because mm -hmm. I can make a larger amount. Is there a way that I can do that on the calendar? So like maybe further out on the calendar, I'm ensuring that the four bedroom is getting served up to potential guests first. This is where the possibilities are endless in terms of how you can diversify this one property. And guys, you can do this with a multifamily where like if you've got four apartments, you can make it a, you get two apartments as one listing. So the possibilities are endless. But going back to your question, you can make it so that the four bedroom is always available on the weekends and you can't even book the two bedroom on the weekends. Awesome, all right, so okay. I'm just taking that out of the equation. You On the two bedroom okay. product, okay. on the two bedroom listing, you just say not available on Friday and Saturday nights. Just Love it. You never are. Perfect. You can also do this. You can say that the three bedroom isn't available beyond three months out. It's only available three months and and closer to the date of right. arrival. Right. And the four bedroom is available, you know, three, six, nine months out, whatever your strategy is there. You could even get crazier than that, where like it's so expensive to book the two bedroom beyond the three months that you're like, okay, if you're gonna I'll rent the two it. bedroom at that high rate, sounds great to me, but the four bedroom is more sensibly priced. You see where I'm going with this? Mm -hmm. like, you can really think of ways to make the four bedroom more attractive, but you have that other property also on the OTAs, also on your direct booking platform, and so now you also have more digital real estate for that one property. Question. Do you change the cleaning fee for all of these different options? So you have a cleaning fee for the four bedroom. That's, let's say, I don't know, 200 bucks an, uh, a turn. And you have a cleaning fee for the two bedroom, which is 
95 bucks Got a it. turn. So you, you do switch that. And awesome. you can still play with the whole concept of making a longer stay, less ex or more expensive of a cleaning fee with a shorter stay. I mean, you can still do it because remember, these are two separate listings that you just link. Okay, the type of lock that you put on the bedroom doors that guests cannot act. So if they, okay, let's say they book, in the example we've been using this whole video, they book the two bedroom in a four bedroom home. So I'm gonna lock off the four, the fourth, the, the extra two bedrooms, all right? It's important what you use. You don't wanna use a door, a lock on the door that were the, you know how they have those doorknob locks where you can punch in the code? Don't use those. Because what if a kiddo goes in the room and they shut the door? Um, they can get they can get locked in, right? No one no one might because it might automatically lock or smart lock if it, if it's accidentally set to the automatic lock feature. I like these manual ones that have the key. So number one, you have a key backup that you can hide in the house somewhere. And if a guest is like, I forgot the code, the code's not working. Don't worry, I got you. Your kiddo's in the bedroom. The key is here. Also, there's no way this can automatically lock. Like you have to punch in, you have to press the Schlage button and press in the code to like to lock the door. So it's a manual situation. And I also know what you're gonna ask, which is if a guest sees this on a door, are they feeling they're not getting the whole property? They might. And so you need to make sure in your two bedroom listing that you say this home is also available as a four bedroom. You will see two bedrooms locked off and you will not have access to these rooms unless you want to upgrade to the four bedroom option. You just have to be open and honest about it. And I always get a nice attractive lock like this so it looks good on your property. If this video helped you out, make sure you smash that sub button. We bring out new content every week for you to up-level your hosting business. See you in the next video.